How many of us struggle with doubt? How many of us struggle with questioning whether the things that God has told us, the things that God has done are true and real? Well, that's going to be a part of this story that we're looking at today in Luke chapter 1, verses 5 through 25, as we work our way through the story of, of Zechariah and Elizabeth and the announcement of the birth of this child that will be called John, who will, we will later know as John the Baptist, who prepares the way for Jesus. I think that this question that Zechariah asks that we're about to read in a minute stood out to me because in my home, I was taught to question everything. I've shared before that my father, a philosophy professor and an atheist, taught my, my brother and me to question everything. That, that doubt is an important part to make sure we're not putting our, our trust in something that is fallible or irrational or unreasonable. So when I, I see this question that, that after the angel comes and tells Zechariah that he and Elizabeth will indeed have their prayer answered of having a son after a long time of waiting. Listen to what Zechariah says. Zechariah asked the angel, how can I be sure of this? I am an old man and my wife is well along in years. It's not an unreasonable question, is it? You would expect that after waiting a long time and maybe hopes rising and then falling again, that Zechariah would want to know to be sure. And yes, there's a consequence for asking this question. Zechariah is struck silent, but, but in, in a way, this is how he's made sure. And this is how everyone else has been made sure, is that Zechariah, a priest, Let's think of him maybe as a pastor. A pastor struck silent? Now that's a sign. But Zechariah is struck silent and has to communicate until John is born in writing to everyone. The good news in all of this is that the angel doesn't go on to someone else. The angel doesn't move on and say, well, Zechariah, you asked this question and you weren't sure, so I'm going to find somebody else who's a little more sure. In fact, what we learn in this whole Christmas story, Mary asks a question too, and she's dealt with in a different way, but the good news for us in this is this, that God comes. God comes to us even in the midst of our doubt. So if today you find yourself doubting and questioning, wondering if what you believe God has said to you is true, know that God comes even in the midst of our doubt. Grace and peace to you this day.